Good morning friends, welcome to today's video. So I was not gonna vlog today just because like I've been filming a lot. I just wanna chill today. But it is Friday, November 15th and we are actually going to be having our first free meal today. I'm taking a free meal tonight. It's gonna be sushi and wine for Nick Comanina's birthday. But this morning I am going to meet my friend Connie at the donut bar because she just finished phase one which comes after 75 hard, which is those are both challenges, basically, that Andy Frizzella created. He's the owner of First Form. If you know about 75 Hard, then you know. Otherwise, just Google it. I'm like not, not going to explain it here. But she basically, it's just like a very challenging thing. And she just finished it. So it's time for her to have a donut or multiple donuts, whatever her heart desires. I told her I would be there to support her. I'm not planning on indulging. I'm probably going to have like a bite or two. Um, and I wanted to share the way that I approach free meals, especially because I'm not even two weeks post show, but it's time. Like I'm okay to take a free meal, right? I'm not gonna be an asshole and you'll see that tonight, but I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. So I have these black booties that I got just like at the mall here. I'm sorry. They were super affordable at like this little, similar to a forever 21 store. These are high waisted legging or <laughs> what the heck high waisted jeans from American Eagle. I seriously have fallen in love all over again with American Eagle. So super cute there. I just have this old sweater on. It has like a cowl neck. I'm a big fan of cowl necks. And then this bomber jacket is actually from Rider Wear. Um, so check it out. Cute, right? And I think that is everything. So I'm going to go meet Connie at the donut bar downtown, which I meant to go to after my show, but like we all know how that went. So anyway, like I said, um, the way that I approach the rest of my day for free meals is I adjust my macros. So let's say that you eat five times a day. I usually eat five times a day plus my post-workout shake if it's a training day. Today's a rest day, so I would eat five times a day. Basically, just pull one of your meals out and replace that with your free meal. But the math behind it all, and this is like what I do and what I have my clients do, is you take your total macros for the day, divide by the number of meals you have, so divided by five, and then... Um, remove one of those. So you're going to hit four fifths of your macros. If you eat three times a day, you're going to hit two thirds of your macros, if that makes sense. So let's just say you're on hundred grams of protein and you eat five times a day. So that's 20 grams per meal. You're just going to remove one of those and hit 80 protein for the day. Same with carbs, same with fats. So hopefully that makes sense. That's always the guideline that I have in place for my clients and what I have always followed, but my macros are a little bit higher um, obviously because I'm like reversing and I don't want to throw a ton at my body today. Um, yesterday was the first day that I hit higher numbers. So that's why I'm saying like I'm not going to go be an asshole at Donut Bar because like that's not my free meal, right? My free meal is tonight. Free meals are not free days. They're not cheat days. And I just like genuinely do not have the desire to like put a lot of food in my body. I'm actually mentally struggling hitting higher numbers. But what was cool, so yesterday I was like I don't want to hit I don't want to eat anymore because like I'm scared, which I've never had that thought, which is really weird, but I know better. I know better. So I still hit my numbers. Um, I'm up to 200 carb now. And, uh, this morning I woke up and I was like, okay, like it's okay if you're a little heavier, you ate a lot of food last night, like whatever. I woke up lighter than I was like two days out of my show. So that's just a good, it's, it's nice to have that like affirmation that like, Hey, dumb, dumb, you you dieted for 30 weeks, your body can handle more food. Okay, 200 carbs is like, <laughs> there's still so much more room to add food. But this is how a reverse goes and you never know until you're in it. So I wanted to share that win with you, that transparency with you, let you know that sometimes we struggle and it's okay, but my body is a machine. So we're in a good spot and that is the intro for this video. So I will take you to the donut bar and then of course you'll see free mail tonight and I'll probably expand more on this later, but right now we gotta go.
Show us your donut shirt. Connie came prepared with like the best shirt ever. <laughs> Are you still deciding on what you're gonna get? Uh, I'm posting, and then okay. I'm gonna do a video, and then I'm gonna, yes. then I'm gonna make it happen. Exciting! So. We'll give you guys a review. All right, so Connie got a lot of goods, and she's gonna go through and explain them for us. So get ready, man! Oh my god! It's like a little cake. It is. It's French toast. It's so cute. All right, I am so fucking excited. We have, I don't even know if I can remember all these, um, chocolate Snickers, triple chocolate, raspberry cheesecake, blueberry Pop-Tart, s'mores Pop-Tart, no, s'mores Pop-Tart, strawberry Pop-Tart. There's three different Pop-Tart donuts. <laughs> There's a Pop-Tart inside of those donuts. Um, we also have a bacon maple cinnamon roll, I believe. Yeah, that's, that's what that's called. So creme brulee, little bitch back in there. <laughs> this one is stuffed. Strawberry something or another. Oh, wow. Um, Nutella overload, apple pie, and caramel latte. And French toast, <laughs> made to order. So this one is first because it's warm. And I am so fucking here for this. All right, so we're gonna try French toast first. We're gonna try it just on its own first. All right, that's amazing. And now we're gonna make it more amazing. <laughs> this is the highlight, I think, of my life, maybe? Okay, so like I told you at home, I'm literally just gonna have like a bite or two. It's very tempting to want to try them all, but like I said, I have my free meal tonight, so we ain't gonna be a super asshole right now, but I do want to try this French toast bad boy. So, here we go. Alright, we got this little guy. Oh my god, why do donuts <laughs> smell so- my mouth is watering. That is so good, dude. <laughs> so good. Perfect. Actually perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna let Connie try the rest of these, but we're gonna be filming for her, so you got a little bit of behind the scenes, and I'll catch up with you later. Yo, so back from the donut bar, I was just so happy to see Connie enjoying every single donut. She tried them all, she rated them all, I filmed for her, it was amazing, and I just love that girl so much. She is such a rock and such a light in my life, and I'm so grateful and forever indebted to the universe for bringing her to me. Um, but then I... Okay, so I wanted to let you know, you saw me try the French toast um, donut. That was dank. And then I did end up trying one more. It was a, it was a s'mores Pop-Tart donut concoction, and I just cut out a little bite of it. So I had a whopping two bites of donuts this morning. V proud of myself because that's a slippery slope. Okay? Just because bikini competitors diet for 30 weeks <laughs> and have like the discipline to not eat food like that and not binge and stuff doesn't make it any less difficult that when it's right in front of you, you need to practice control, right? Because bite number one tastes the same as bite number 37, right? So I used to have um, very much like snacking like binging tendencies i've struggled with that in the past not super bad not like clinical level or disordered level by any means but that used to be my default and i know i touched on this earlier but now i'm kind of more like extra conservative and so i'm trying to find my balance as well and i'm taking you along for the ride but i'm just i'm proud of myself that i just had a couple bites because again this morning was like not my free meal right my free meal is tonight so right now i am just making my Protein brownie batter. And for anybody who's new here, I wanted to give you the recipe real quick because I know I always refer you to my Instagram, which it is saved there in a recipes highlight. And I always show this meal in my vlogs. And I'm like, oh, I've showed you this before, like whatever. But today we'll do a little refresher. So I use the chocolate peanut butter cup vegan power pro from first form. I do a scoop of that and then I do a serving, which is two tablespoons of PB fit. I throw in some stevia and I honestly just mix it up first. So it's nice and 
uh, freaking mixed. And then I will just add almond milk little by little. So I'll show you what the texture should look like. So if you ever get to a point where you're like, oh shoot, I added too much almond milk, it's too liquidy. What you can do is just whip it like this. And the longer you do that, the more of a whipped texture slash the desired texture will form. So that's what it should look like. And it's that freaking easy. So then I put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes while I eat my pita chips. And I've been on a pretzel kick lately because I like my sweet and I like my savory. Usually this is my pre-workout meal, but today's a rest day. So yeah, there's the protein brownie batter recipe. I just have one more client call today and then just making sure I have everything taken care of on the back end. But what I do is I really front load my weeks with most of my work. So Mondays and Tuesdays are usually pretty busy. Wednesdays and Thursdays, not as bad. Um, and then Fridays are just kind of like, I hold space for myself, like for me to do things in the mornings, like go to donut bar with Connie or go to coffee with a friend or whatever. Um, I was supposed to have a client call, but uh, that didn't end up happening. So it just depends, you know, um, but I do like my Fridays to be a bit more chill. So anyway, that's what we got going on for today. And I will see you when I see you. Okay, so two things. I am just so grateful for the Good Vibe Tribe. Like, I can't even put it into words. But first thing is, I just got a package that I'm gonna show you in a second. The second thing is, one of the girlies who follows me, um, her name is Livia, I believe I'm saying that correctly. She sent me a couple of voice memos here. She had tagged me in um, her story about birthday cake bang yesterday and I was like oh my gosh it's so good right and then she sent me a couple of super sweet voice messages and like I I contemplated sharing them here but I don't know if like she's okay with that so I'm not going to but Livia you are seriously so sweet I know she's gonna be watching this video I have like I just have all the goosebumps all the feels all the good vibes she was just telling me like how I've impacted her life and she loves you know my workout videos and she keeps up with me on YouTube and like didn't skip a single minute of my prep recap like you are seriously such an angel my girl so feeling very um, just fulfilled and lit up and that brings me to the second thing here which is a package from one of the another girly who follows me you know she's in the good vibe tribe and we chat quite often. She's super supportive, always gasses me up. But she sent me a little package for post competition. And so here's what we have. There's uh, Melissa side and Alexi side, she told me. But look at these freaking glasses. How cute. I for sure we're gonna put those on after this, right? But she got both of us birthday cake bangs. She got us Sonic gift cards. She got us little bracelets. And then she got me the cutest little notebook. It says she believed she could, which my mantra band says that, which is really cool, um, which is one of the bracelets that I wear. But it has, you know, little reminders in here. So it's just little quotes and stuff. And you can, like, sit this up on your desk. Like, oh, she knows me so well. And then she wrote the sweetest, sweetest note. And then there's a note for Lexi. Obviously, I haven't opened that. But how freaking cute right like i am just so lucky let's put these on oh uh, yes i am just so lucky to have the good vibe tribe like everything that people have been telling me and just the way that y'all have been nurturing me and supporting me since the show is amazing like that makes everything that went down with the show not even matter right because i'm just trying to make an impact i'm trying to connect with like-minded humans who see things the way i do we just want to all be better and just have all the good vibes dude that's the impact i'm trying to make and it just feels really good to connect with you all so here we are i wanted to show that little update and i'll see you when i see you <laughs> okay so update we are ready for din now i'm just keeping the same outfit that I was wearing earlier, um, but I wanted to come on here, give a quick update. Here's Le Makeup. And I just straightened my hair. So yeah, I've just been eating my normal meals today. Like I was saying earlier, nothing crazy. We just stay on track and then we go have our free meal. And I'm not going to bring my camera with me because I just, I'm going to bring like a smaller purse and I, it, you, this camera takes up most of the room in that purse because it's like a little clutch. So I'm not gonna bring that, but I will insert um, like videos or photos from my Instagram story here. 
so you can see what I ate and then I will update you when I come home, but just wanted to do the update now and also let you know that I spent some time earlier working on all the Poshmark stuff. So just know I am working on that for you. Have goodies ready to go. Been listening to some GEZ for like right there. Uh, probably like two hours, dude. So it's been very chill. I feel very organized, ready to go have some sushi and wine and excited to be a new human. Well, not a new human, <laughs> a real human again. So anyway, like I said, I'll update you when I get home, but I think that's everything that I wanted to tell you for now. So sushi and wine photos incoming. <laughs> All right, so we just got back. Lex and I both had spicy tuna rolls and then we split like a specialty roll. So feel good. We had our glasses of wine. I'm like not too stuffed or anything. And it was just really good to like be around people and just like make plans moving forward to be social again. It felt just so nice. And I'm very blessed to have the friend group that I do out here and they all get it. Like they know I've been prepping and stuff like that. So that was good. Just had a very interesting Uber ride home. I'm just not even going to elaborate on that. <laughs> um, but I wanted to give you a little update. Obviously I'll put, um, you know, you just saw everything that we had and stuff. So yeah, it was a really, really good night. My soul, my heart, my tum tum are very happy. And yeah, I think we'll just continue this vlog into the weekend. So I will catch up with you tomorrow. Yo fam, so it's the next day, it's Saturday morning. It's a little after 11 and I just finished up my workout. I got a really good back and shoulder pump fueled by last night's sushi and wine. Um, and I am going to get coffee with a friend here in a little bit. So that's why I came a little bit earlier, but this whole eating breakfast on the weekends and then going to the gym thing, it, it's a new vibe, man. It's a new mood. I bring my little Starbucks cup with my homemade coffee and it makes me happy and like the gym is bumping but like it's motivating right because there's people I was gonna film my workout and then there was like entirely too many people here like the parking lot is so packed but it's motivating like I said to be around people and it feels good like be able to push myself again just like just even like when I'm in those reps where it's like okay you got a few more like when you're on prep you don't got a few more you struggle to even get like just it sucks when you lose strength but now it's like yo I do have a few more and I just made a post on my Instagram I'll put a screenshot here but it feels really good to put the extra calories to work right but that's not what it's about it's not like oh you have to earn your free meal or you have to you have to train after you have a meal that is more calories than you're used to like that's not it at all but if you want to train around your free meal, do so. Don't feel like you have to. Like for me, it was dinner last night, right? And I knew I was going to get up this morning and clearly like still be fueled from the food last night. And it just feels really good. But I'm so hungry. Like my body is a machine. So of course I have post-workout shake here. Magical charms. Free shipping on all first form products is always in the description box. Y'all know that. Um, but I actually just ordered a new tub of Formula One and I got a different flavor. So comment below what flavor you think I got because it's not one that I usually buy, but I'm excited. So anyway, there's that. Um, I think that was really the only update I wanted to give you. I woke up like on my own today at like 6.30. I had a headache from one glass of wine. I was like, okay, like body very sensitive, but body also machine. We respect her, we love her, we're honoring her. So this weekend is gonna be so, so good. I can't decide if I'm gonna make this into two videos or not, because we just got lots of fun things planned. So anyway, I'm gonna go home, clean up, and I will take you along the rest of my day. All right, so update, did not end up going to coffee with a friend. She had an appointment run over and I was just, like I'm a very open person, like I'll literally just tell you. I, I told her, I was like, do you mind if we plan for another day? Because I wanna make sure we have time to like actually hang out and not like feel rushed. Um, Cause I have other things to get to, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, but she was like, dude, totally. Like I'm really glad you said that. And I'm like, man, this is my kind of people. That's the people I vibe with, but it was going to be a girl um, that I competed with here a couple weekends ago, two, I guess two weeks ago today, that's crazy, um, but she had DM'd me before the show and was like, hey, we're doing the same show, and I was like, let's be backstage besties, so she's amazing, like we vibed instantly, so we'll meet up um, sometime soon, probably in December, honestly, because this week is going to be full of normal work and just preparing to go home, home to Kansas, um, but... Lexi and I are about to go um, like shopping for Christmas decorations and stuff. And in order for you to see 
the decor and the decorations and everything we come up with, you're gonna have to watch the first Vlogmas video, which will be coming on Lexi's channel. And we're gonna alternate the Vlogmas videos. No promises on upload frequency. Like we're not gonna commit to like every single day or anything like that, but we have a lot of videos planned. So stay tuned for that. But also Lexi's gonna do a bang uh, birthday cake taste test because she hasn't had it yet and I'm about to crack mine open so I'm freaking pumped oh I was gonna give a little caffeine update so there were usually like throughout prep what I would do is drink coffee in the morning and then I would drink my bang as my pre-workout and occasionally I would have like a cold brew or something a little later in the day but really not that much like I kept my caffeine intake it was sub 600 um for most of my prep like literally the entire thing except for a few days where I would have something extra right so as my food increases obviously I'm gonna be feeling better but I'm gonna like taper my caffeine and there were a few days this week actually most days this week I think I instead of drinking a bang on the way to the gym I just drank my water and like I was fine so that was cool but today I'm just feeling a little tired I don't know if it's because I just I trained earlier today so I mean I I lifted heavy I went hard and I'm like training you know hard again <laughs> so I don't know if it's that or um you know the sun sets early that can affect things you know you just feel like the day it's time to go to bed when the sun sets and also obviously like I don't know I didn't really sleep in today I stayed up a little later last night I had a glass of wine I don't freaking know anyway the point is I'm gonna be drinking my birthday cake bang that um I was sent from a lovely member of the Good Vibe Tribe. I showed you that package. So anyway, we're going to get Lexi's live reaction here in a moment. So we will show you that. <laughs> She's coming, she says. So we'll show you that. I think it's the fact that the sun is Fuck. locked. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Sorry. It's all good. Like you just captured. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so Do you ever just knock something over and you're like, I did that? <laughs> How do I do that? <laughs> to live with us <clears throat> I've never tried this one because usually I like like sour energy drinks Ooh. do you like it yeah it's not too sweet mm -mm. wait let me get another set so I give it for me like a 7.5 out of 10 like it's way better than I expected I was like how do you put birthday cake in a drink but it's not super sweet. It just kind of has like a hint of, you know, like funfetti mm -hmm. cake. Would drink again. Yay. My favorite is still firecracker and pear guava. And then probably the green one. And then this one. Uh, yeah, you just saw the reality of living with me. I Like sometimes I do things and I'm just like, I just, how, how did I do that? But anyway. I know this video covers a couple days, um, or well, I guess it was yesterday, Friday, and today's Saturday, but I feel like I have more than enough footage because ya girl likes to talk, as you know, but I know you're here for it, so thank you for allowing me to chat your ear off all the time. So I'm going to close this video out. As always, if you watched until now, I am taking all my good vibes. I'm sending them your way. If you could give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell before you leave, that would be dope, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye! Oh